Hey, this is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, reminding you to subscribe to The Game MLL for the best video game character remakes and wrestling games on Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Subscribe now. It's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's your boy, The Game, MLL. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Friday Night Freddy's. Now, in the last episode, we had Nightmare versus Clown Springtrap in the Iron Tables match. So if you missed that, make sure you go back and check that out. But in the meantime, we have the Foxy face-off today. I know a lot of you guys are stoked on this match. I want to give a big shout out to Spring Fox for making this awesome version of Foxy. You can find it on the community using the hashtag FNAF, just like the rest of these creations. This is on WWE 2K23. All right, and introducing created by Landon. Let's welcome Mangle back to Friday Night Freddy's. We haven't seen Mangle in quite some time. I found this version of him today, and I figured it would make a nice addition to the match. Now, when I originally went to set this thing up, I only had like five Foxies, so I had to dig some up. I passed on the Grim Foxy. Apparently, there was some drama about it. I don't like getting in the middle of drama. So I might make my own Grim Foxy pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. That's one of my favorite creations. So I thought it would be cool to make my own this year. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be my next one to release. I'll probably be ready, if not by next week, sometime soon. I'll keep you guys posted. Make sure you guys check out my updates on Twitter. Check me out on Facebook. I also have an Instagram. Just look for your boy, just look for your boy the game, MLL, or the game underscore Marcos L. All right, here we go. Mangle has made it to the ring. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Who do we have coming out next? Yo, is that Funtime Foxy? That was created by yours truly. You can download that on the community using the hashtag FNAF. Oh, I don't think he's playing that song no more. <laughs> oh man, this is a fun creation to make. One of my favorites. Okay. So there's going to be some other matches coming up, but I want to hear from you guys. What matches would you guys like to see featuring Five Nights at Freddy's characters? Let me know in the comment section. You can let me know right here in the live chat. You can let me know in the comments either way. When I say the live chat, usually I premiere these videos, and then I watch them side by side with my fans, and we enjoy the first viewing together. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get alerted and you can come join me when I'm chatting live in the chat with the fans. So that's pretty awesome. Hope you guys have, have hit the subscribe button if you're new. And if you're returning, make sure you guys smash that like button so my videos get cycled in your suggested videos. Time Foxy is here. Who's gonna be coming out next, guys? Oh, that song sounds very familiar. That belongs to the FNAF 4 team. Shout out to Nitro Glitch for this track, Never Alone. This is also cut by DJ Cutman. And a big shout out to Blue Foxy for making this version of Nightmare Foxy. Points for getting the run. A lot of people forgot the run when they made Foxy. I was kind of surprised. But not everybody is a dancing foxy, excuse me, not everybody's a running foxy. Some of them have some dance moves, some of them have some other attributes. So it's nice to see a variety. <laughs> but yeah, that was a cool touch. Kind of reminds me of one of my creations that I made in 2K18, back in the Dizzy. All right, so this was a remake of a Two Cool Skeletons creation. Big shout out to AJ the Creator. He's been making some awesome remakes for me. And uh, since Skelly's has parted ways with uh, making WWE 2K creations, 
This guy's picked up a lot of those creations that uh, I don't need to make this year, courtesy of him. So check out AJ the Creator's creations too. Pretty cool guy, shout out to CG5 for this cut of Five Nights at Freddy's Remix. It's called Five Nights Only. Pretty awesome track. Yo, I haven't, I haven't heard from Charlie in a hot minute. His channel took off pretty good. I remember when I was subscribing to Charlie from CG5 way back when he was just doing instrumentals and now uh yeah he's in the millions when it comes to views for his music videos so i mean he's really taken off so like i said shout out to cg5 you can find a link to his channel in my suggested channels tab all right and here comes the next adversary this is a creation from yours truly you can download on the community using the hashtag fnaf this is my version of Lolbit. It's kind of like a reskin of Funtime Foxy. The first time I saw this character featured, I believe, was on Ultimate Custom Night. And there was probably an appearance before that, maybe on FNAF World or something to that effect, that I was oblivious to. Why? Because I wasn't there in the beginning. I got there kind of late to the FNAF game when FNAF 4 was already a thing. And they were just creating Sister Location. When did you guys first get into Five Nights at Freddy's? Let me know in the comments. And this creation is made by X-Man D. Please welcome Radioactive Foxy. Now I saw that the... That the pose for the character is actually a plush. Is this a character that has been featured in a game? Or is this just a plush creation? I'm not 100% certain, but if you guys have more knowledge than I do about it, let me know in the comments, because I am super curious. I really dig this design. One of my favorites for this match. It's very basic, but it is simple and effective. All right. Who's coming out next? Is that the last one? I think we got one more Foxy. Alright, so I told you guys I was going to be dipping into fandom. So let's bring out Glamrock Foxy. So this one was created by Rob K.O. Shout out to Rob K.O. Very cool costume for this character. I was going through Foxy's and instead of getting mixed up in the uh, Foxy drama somebody was having... Um, I decided that this was the the better route to go. So this is a really cool and clean design. I really like how you're utilizing the shoulder pads for the stage presence for the Glam Rocks. I know that they don't wear them all the time, but it definitely makes for very cool entrance gear, even if he's fighting it. I really like these shoulder pads. They're cool. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite him. <laughs> Those are pretty big. All right, like I said, make sure you guys have liked and subscribed to my channel. Let's get this match underway. There's gonna be a lot of action going on in the ring. There's essentially four singles matches taking place simultaneously. And so it's gonna be impossible for me to keep up with every move that happens in this match, but I will do my best to keep up with the action. We have a, a tag team maneuver there with Funtime and Radioactive taking down FNAF 4, Nightmare Foxy. Of course, referee Fred Fazbear making sure this thing is called right down the middle. Lobit attacking the arm of Rockstar Foxy. Radioactive locking up with Glamrock, drops him with a flatliner. And Rockstar Foxy drops Fun time with a atomic drop. Yo. Maybe that's what radioactive Foxy's finishing move should be the atomic drop. Or the atomic leg drop. I don't know. But I, that just kind of gave me an idea to change one of his moves. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so. Nightmare Foxy looking to close the door on him with the Foxy T. Going old school. It's the Foxy T. Oh, Mangle picks up Lil Bit in the electric chair, drops him right on the back of his neck. Radioactive Foxy rolls him up into an inside cradle. Only a one count. 
Now Funtime Foxy getting hit with the radioactive rock bottom. Goes for the cover. One. Oh. Man. It's pandemonium out here. Hits him with the DDT. And that's the second time we've seen the Foxy T. This one's from FNAF 1 Foxy. And Mangle clamps on the STF. Oh, he bit his hand. He uses the teeth to escape. Molbit sinking his teeth into Mangle. And FNAF 1 Foxy almost had an elimination on Rockstar. Mangle gets hit with Snake Eyes. Molbit goes for the cover. Funtime Foxy has Radioactive by the scuff. Working with Rockstar with a suplex on Radioactive Foxy. The original Fo FNAF 1 Foxy goes in. He's moving in. Oh, he's getting double teamed. He's able to counter both opponents. Funtime joins in with the spear. Oh, big time suicide DDT. Modified version of Lulbit's finishing move with a springboard attached. And Lulbit getting thrown around by FNAF 1 Foxy. Ramrock has him tied up. Lulbit gets hit with a, with a Samoan drop. I was going to say Fireman's Carry. Man, falling behind on my moves. There's just so much. Man, reverse elbow strike. Knocking him off his feet. Oh, on the top right, he hits Pirate's Cove. Little bit gets sent to Pirate's Cove. Fazbear trying to cover both pin situations. A little bit does get eliminated. That was technically a four count, but officially he gets eliminated with the three. And Funtime unloading with a combo there on FNAF 4 Foxy. Nightmare gets dropped on his face. He hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough? Oh, Fazbear gets in for the count. Glamrock has Foxy from FNAF 1 in a reverse Boston Crab, but he escapes. Fazbear watching the action close. Oh, man. Three drops in a row. These guys are just tearing each other apart. I think that was the Foxy knee. Oh, I thought that was a three count for sure. Glamrock Foxy escapes the Foxy knee from Nightmare Foxy. He's got the captain's hook. Oh, bad break for FNAF 1 Foxy. Radioactive Foxy though. It's the Radioactive Foxtrot. Goes for the cover. I think that Glamrock actually utilizes that as a finishing move too. Um, did he steal his move? I'll have to check and see if they have the same finisher. So that'd be a good one to change to the atomic drop. Oh, Pirate's Cove on Funtime Foxy. All a rock star. Hooks the leg. One, two. Only a two count. Mangle doing some devastating damage there in the center of the ring. These guys are chalking for position. Nobody can get any offense. Everybody's just running right into each other. Oh, Poison Rana on Radioactive Foxy. That would be a good move for him to do that. He's giving me all these ideas. Oh, he's got the, he's got the shoulder pad cinched in around his neck. He doesn't have any room to breathe. And he took advantage of that hard. He chokes out Glamrock Foxy. Now one Foxy with the first elimination of the match. And I think some fans are going to be slightly disappointed by that outcome. And some other fans are going to be collectively delighted with that outcome. version of a Uranagi. Oh, he clotheslines him over the top ropes. Guys, there's no exiting in this battle royale. 
However, if you get thrown out by your opponent, you must get back in the ring. You don't get penalized from getting tossed out on your ass, but you're supposed to stay in this ring. Oh, he hit some of Pirate's Cove, or else I think that would have been a three count. I think Bengal got saved by the day there. Oh, man. Grabs him by the scuff of his neck. Are we looking for another double team? Boom! Double Samoan drop, pancaking him on his face. And Mangle scoops him up. He didn't take him quite to the scooping room. Oh! Foxy knee out of nowhere. Hooks leg. One, two, three. And Mangle has been eliminated from Nightmare Foxy. Rockstar Foxy trying to get his bearings over there. Oh, the backstabber from Funtime Foxy. And he clamps on the captain's hook. Naf one Foxy, he just choked out another animatronic with captain's hook. Oh, nice neck breaker from the Rockstar. Nightmare Foxy. Not trying to be in the center of this thing, but also trying to do some damage himself. Finds himself getting hit with a drop kick. I wouldn't be showboating there. Oh, he goes from a fireman's carry into a power bomb. Nice transition. Oh man, he hits the attitude adjustment. I thought that was gonna be it for sure. He hits the ropes. Pele! He kicked Foxy right in the head. Northern Lights. FNAF 1 locking up with FNAF 4. Poison Rana. He shrugs him off. What's going to happen next, guys? Who's going to get the next elimination? We're down to the final three. He rolls him up. Oh, no, he does. He comes back with another Pele kick. It's the second time Foxy's fallen victim to that, but it's from different directions in his defense. He's going for it again. Another attitude. Adjustment. Boom. He plants him. Is that going to be enough? Oh, he goes for a drop kick. Trying to cover both bases so he can get a potential elimination. I don't think it matters anymore because he hasn't trapped with the Foxy T. He hits the Foxy T. Is that going to be enough to keep down Rockstar Foxy? Oh, he escapes his old finisher. His old signature, rather. Oh, he's eliminated two animatronics. Is it going to be a trifecta? Nightmare Foxy in a bad way. He hasn't clamped on deep, and I don't think... I don't think Rockstar's in a hurry to make a save this time. He's on the prowl. Rockstar Foxy moves in. He's going for a neckbreaker, but Nightmare counters. He powers out with a neckbreaker of his own. And here comes FNAF 1 Foxy. He's trying to wind himself up here. He throws him into the ropes. He hits off and comes back. Foxy knee to the face. Brilliant counter. He didn't see that coming. I sure as hell didn't. Oh, I thought for sure that that was going to be a three count. He's put away so many people in the past with that. Same with Pirate's Cove. That's his go-to. One, two, three. No. Bailey just gets his shoulders up off the mat. This match has so far been halfway a triple threat match. Scores with the Foxy Knee, and I think that that was like the third or fourth finisher that he's eaten. And that's going to be an elimination. We're down to the last two. It is Nightmare Foxy versus FNAF 1 Foxy. Who's going to come out ahead of this thing? FNAF 1 Foxy, a former Golden Freddy champion in his own right. Oh, man. Get your bare ass out of my face, Freddy. Holy moly. Nightmare Foxy goes after him. He hits the ropes. Uh-oh. He runs into a combo. Scoops him up. 
away, but he counters. Elbows to the jaw. He's trying to turn things around here. He hits the ropes. He comes back. Knee to the gut. It's ascending to the top ropes. He's facing out. He goes for a backflip. Oh, and he scores with the moonsault. He needs to go for the cover. I don't know why he didn't go for the cover. That might come back to bite him. Is he going for the foxy T? Oh, he's got the claw in his eye. Oh, and he stomps right on the back of his head. Brutal. Looks like he's looking to finish him. He ducks out of the foxy knee. He kicks him right in the back of the spine. And he went to the well, I think, maybe once too often, but I don't think he's going to see this coming. He's winding up for a foxy knee of his own. Boom! Right across the side of the jaw. Is that going to be enough? He rolls him over. He hooks the leg. Fred Fazbear for the cover. One, two, three. And here's your winner, the former Golden Freddy champion, FNAF 1 Foxy. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you have subscribed to this channel. And make sure you turn on notifications so that you know when I'm uploading. That way you can come chat with me live in the comments section. Okay, and these episodes are going to be mainly airing on Fridays. I may skip a week or two here and there, but I guarantee for this uh, season I'm going to be releasing more episodes, okay? So I hope you guys return. I hope you guys are engaging with me in the chat. Make sure you guys drop a like. Let's see if we can smash the like button to 100 likes like we used to back in the day. I'm your boy, The Game MLL, signing out. And I'll SC you guys later. SC you! Greetings and salutations. It's your man CD, the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels, former Ring of Honor World Champion, current member of the AEW roster, one of the founders of SCU, and an all-around handsome man, and listen to what I have to tell you. If you're looking for the cool videos or the best video game character remakes for Xbox and PlayStation, what you want to do is go to YouTube and check out the Game MLL channel. Subscribe to him, like him. He's the man with the master plan, and you're going to enjoy everything he does. So check him out and tell him the Fallen Angels sent you. SCU later. SCU!